My name is Senator MacLeod Graves. I take a delight to look in at Culture Share. It is a show that is very good for the youth and for the elders, and it will help us to advance our culture. So please look at Culture Share. Thank you. The pleasure is always mine to welcome you to another edition of Culture Share. Stay right where you are and experience the happiness in Caribbean culture for the next hour. I am Harold Paisley and this week I have a special guest. He is from Spice Capital Radio in Grenada, FM 90, Anthony Jericho Greenwich, my former schoolmate also. Jericho, welcome back to New York and welcome to Culture Share. Well, Harry, it's always nice to be on Culture Share and back in good old New York City where I learn all my tricks, if I should say so. Which none, none of which I taught you. Let me set the record straight. I don't think so. <laughs> good. But it's nice to be here. You, you're going to introduce the first artist too? Yes, it's nice to introduce Smokey. The popular lens of Culture Share caught Smokey live at Queen's Park doing the famous Money. Here it is right now. It's the only one! Whether you have or not, well, money is a game Once you reach then you're poor, that would send some insane Feel how you feel, but face the facts Everybody complaining, is the money the lack? You could have a million, even a billion Still want more no satisfaction So all of you thinking only one thing is that money, money, yeah. Ain't nothing a man will do. I heard me and you for money, money, yeah. Wicked and kind, one thing on we mine is money, money, yeah. Women, men betray their country for money. Money, how we blind each and every time. Money is the goal. Money, 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 take control. Tell me, how about the money? Yeah, yeah, yeah. To feed the world But if you don't have the money Well, God rest your soul Man was first And money was next Now they put money first And they put man next If we 
had the mighty air that we all share. Most of us would never be here. So all of your thinking, only one thing is that money, money, kind of thing a man will do. I hold me and you for the money, the money. Wicked and kind, there's one thing on we mind. Every time money is we go money 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 take control Don't count. No friendship in business, money more important. Some make every effort, save their wealth, ignoring the beauty of saving their health. The money we're all slaves, right down to the grave. Money have this world in a rage. So all of your thinking, only one thing is that. Money, money, kind of thing a man will do. I heard me and you for the money, money. We get on kind of one thing on we mind. Money, the money. The priest praying for your soul before he done his fast he bowl for money. How we blind each and every time. Money is big all. Money, 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 money. Take control. That's what we preach. No sense being a miser, no sense being a scam. Enough money to live, that's all people want. Some pay plenty dollars and cents, bring sorrows to an end. And they could be right, cause that is the strength. So all of your thinking, the only one thing is money. Everything in fact seemed to go right for Smokey that particular night at Dimash Gra in Grenada and one of your favorite Calypsonians too Jericho. Well actually Harold I'm glad you played that one because I backed Smokey to the last but as you realize nothing happened. Well he still remains a fine and one of the top Calypsonians from Grenada. And he always will be Harold. Paul Keynes Douglas is undoubtedly one of the fine playwrights and storytellers of our time. Well, we were happy to have him in the past weeks doing his great storytelling at the Brooklyn College during the Carib Fet 1992 series. 
Now, right now, we're going to bring him back, and he's going to tell us about the problems of West Indians and how they go about dealing with them with their specific and different mannerisms. Here's Paul. Now, basically, half our problems in the Caribbean uh, you know, either hereditary problems or environmental problems. Now, hereditary problems are problems you inherit from your last husband, your last wife, your last government, your last whoever. Environmental problems are those you create for yourself by doing dotish things. Let me explain further the difference. Now, if your wife has a baby and look like you, that's hereditary. If your wife have a baby and look at the neighbor, that's environmental. So you all understand? So, under these two sections of problems, you can break them down into two other sections, which are economic problems and health problems. Now, when it comes to economics, I believe that any West Indian housewife could run the government. Because most housewives understand the basis of good economics. And that is you cannot spend what you don't have. Most of our governments spend what they have, what they don't have, and what other people have. You have to spend what you have. Learn to economize. Like this priest who had the parrot and wanted to impress his congregation, he could work miracles. Give the parrot two bread and tell the parrot, go and hide on top of the church. And when I say, send down bread from heaven, drop bread. <laughs> parrot say, no problem, man. Give me the bread. So Sunday morning, he say, my people, I can work miracles. They say, trust. He say, send down bread from heaven. I said, boom, he dropped the first bread. They say, miracles, do it again. He says, send down bread from heaven. I said, boom, he dropped the next bread. They said, do it again. Now the priest forget how much bread he gave the parrot. <laughs> he says, send down bread. Parrot said, think it's a bakery or a beer or whatever. <laughs> the thing is, you have to learn to economize good economics. That's economy. Now when it comes to health, just as you have to learn to economize, you have to learn to condomize. You see this thing called a condom? I'm talking about health now, health. It's very important that we get a message across with AIDS and all these things going on. We have to learn to talk about it. But a lot of people don't know what a condom is, but they wouldn't talk. But they're too embarrassed. I know a girl tell me she thought a condom was a small condominium. I know she buys shares in one. But she's not too bright, you know. She's the same girl tell me she thought the ozone layer was a foul. So you see the kind of problem we have out there with the population. So I was trying to work with the doctors on this health education project. Doctors said, well, we have plenty of problems. They said, we went to St. Lucia. Explain family plan to them. We got a condom, we got a big Gros Michel banana, and we put it on. They say they understand perfectly. Two months later, this fellow wife pregnant. The doctor said, what happened, man? You say you understood. We used the banana, and you say you understood. He said, yes, doctor, I put on a whole bunch, and she still get pregnant. So, I really don't know what's going on out there. Another doctor in Trinidad now had a problem. He said about the Chinese part of the population. He said, explain to them. They said they understood perfectly. Two months later, this guy's wife was pregnant. The doctor said, well, what's the problem? You said you understood. He said, doctor, I understood everything, you know. But you see, when I put it on, it had a little piece that blew us up, cut it off. So, I don't know what's going on. So I have to tell these kind of stories now to help educate the population, you know, in a nice way about the condom use. But we have problems even with the children because again, you have to educate children and in the language they can understand. And sometimes we shy away from talking to children, believing they cannot understand certain language. And sometimes the children understand perfectly. Like this little boy doing homework, you know, you write in and think. So the father said, uh, he says to the father, um, Daddy, how was I born? The father panicked immediately. He said, the stock brought you. Little boy write down. Five minutes later, Daddy, how was grandpa born? The stock brought him too. Little boy write down. Daddy, how was great grandpa born? Listen son, the stock brought all of them. Little boy write down. 
closes the book, goes to bed. So the father says, I wonder why he asked me all those questions. Goes to the child's book, opens it, and there the child has written, there has been no sexual intercourse in our family for three generations. Well, I must say, Harold, the comedy and the humor of Paul Keynes Douglas is hilarious. Your impressions? Oh, yes, fantabulous. Um, the guy is a genius in his own right. And that was a sterling performance using the scenarios of the true West Indian um, situations and uh, putting it in a storytelling form quite appropriate. Now, I have this friend of mine who met in an accident, Jericho, and he lost his entire left side. You know how mm. he is now? You have me baffled. Well, he's all right. He's all right. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you're a riot. You are a riot. You are a riot. Oh, man. Culture share on the move, and we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven help this guy, man. <laughs> Gypsy is a Calisonian we have grown up with in the Caribbean, Jericho. Mm -hmm. Well, Gypsy is phenomenal. He is classy, he is exceptional, he is unique. A strong composer and a strong performer. And a classy guy like me and like you. <laughs> okay, I didn't say it, you said it. <laughs> now, Gypsy sang a song for 1992 called Born to Survive. Now that song, actually most of the song, is about his personal experiences growing up in the village of Mayaro in Trinidad. Look. Just the surf and the sand A dream and a plan And no promise of tomorrow Hungry belly cry Trouble way bye bye Another age You think life is cold But there is nowhere to know Cause it never would show It's all for this dungeon called the world But I'm a born I'm a born survivor Yes I can smile through all my adversities And just laugh when the guns are trained at me Taking life, taking life One day at a time And I'm sure as the night Must bring the dawn This life of mine will still go on And don't mind how they connive Spin their web of strife I'm staying alive Cause I know I was born to survive Times gone by when I watch my mother cry And I know daddy hurt inside Though he worked like a man Did all that he can But somehow he just couldn't provide All the things that we need But somehow we succeed Those were real trying times indeed But then I couldn't understand That that was part of the plan That would make me a much stronger man I'm just a born I'm a born I'm a born survivor Smile through all my adversities And I'll just laugh when their guns are trained at me I'm taking my life, taking my life One day at a time And I'm sure as the night must bring the dawn This life of mine will still go on And don't mind how they connive Spin their web of strife Well, I'm staying alive Born to survive Yes, I'm 
work to the bone I felt so all alone in places I didn't know too well Abused and misused, that was nothing I choose Sure, those conditions felt like hell But hard work do pay, now things are not that way But success do breeds envy indeed And although I've done no wrong You should hear evil tongue Twagging with envy to bring me down Go on, cause I'm a born I'm a born, I'm a born, I'm a born survivor I can smile through all my adversities Yes, brother, I laugh I laugh when your fans are trained at me I'm taking my life, my life One day at a time And I'm sure as the night must bring the dawn This life, this life, this life, this life, this life A man will still go on and don't mind how they connive Spin their web of strife Well, I'm staying alive Yes, it hurts down inside cause there's blood running through my vein And when the things people say sure gets in your way And there's no truth, it cause you pain And when the good that you do just never shine true You wear a smile and you do some more Cause although hate knows no bond But love makes you strong for your good Your reward is sure I'm just a born, that's me I'm a born survivor I can smile through all my adversities And brother, I laugh, I laugh, I laugh When your guns are trained at me I'm taking, taking, taking my life One day at a time And I'm sure as this night must bring the dawn This life of mine will still go on And don't mind how they connive Spin their web of strife Well, I'm staying alive Survive. And believe when life do you wrong in the face of evil. Gypsy and born to survive. Ken Professor Fillmore, wherever he performs on the pan, he creates a wave of excitement. Here he is performing the late Marvin Gaye's classic, What's Going On?
the creativity and genius of Ken Professor Filmo captured live in New York City. Harry, what more can I say about the pan? Do you have any more to say? Not much can be said. Okay. Well, then we'll take a, a, a break and uh, we'll come back, right? Fine. Well, if you say so, that's fine with me too. <laughs> Good. <laughs> the island name of Anguilla, it may not be synonymous with any great international superstar, except maybe Banky Banks. He has been struggling in the business for quite some time now. Here he is in one of his video presentations doing screaming, and right after, we'll meet Banky Banks.
From Anguilla, he comes Banky Banks and Screaming. Well, Banky Banks graced the studios with his magnificent presence, and we had a chat together. And I first asked Banky, how would he describe himself? Well, an artist. <laughs> this is an artist. Uh, I use the art. Uh, I use music as, uh, as my... Music and song as my brush, like a painter. <laughs> and I try to, uh, to put across uh, things related to uh, life, the world crisis, social things, and that's the way. You were influenced in a great way by the late Bob Marley. Yes, I was. And um, you performed at the uh, Sunsplash uh -huh. in 1983, uh -huh. and uh, that must have been a memorable experience for you. Definitely, it was. Uh, as a matter of fact, we were the first band from the Eastern Caribbean to take part in Reggae Sunsplash in Jamaica. So that was like an honor for us from a small island to do that. And uh, it was a yeah. tremendous experience to be on the same bill with all the. The big dance way back in 1983. You have traveled the world, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, North America. You have played with Jimmy Cliff. You even had a, um, a session with the international star Bob Dylan. Yeah, I did. What does it do to an artist to be around his peers of such outstanding repute? Well, it makes you, it, uh, it, it gives you a good feeling, first of all, because as you say, with your peers, you know, it's. Uh, the music business is a very tough business. It's very hard that you get to. It's not very very easy to get to rub shoulders with the <laughs> with the uh, people who are there. And when you can do that, you can pick up a lot of stuff. You can learn a lot of stuff, a lot of uh, a lot of information, lots of things. Depends on how you use your time with people around. So it's always been for me. It's I feel honored to be able to do that. And uh, and yes. Yeah, so, you from Anguilla, Anguilla in the British West Indies. A lot of people who may be looking right now may never have heard about Anguilla. Uh -huh. And you have done as a, a local boy, if uh -huh. you may, from Island Anguilla. Boy. Island boy. Right. <laughs> from Anguilla. I mean, what you have done, this is an astronomical task. Well, it's hard I mean, work. It's just, I think anyone, you can do whatever you want to do. I always wanted to do what I'm doing and do it a good way, do the right thing and do it do it in the right way, you know, to do, to go all the way. Anything I'm into, I go all the way. I don't want to be halfway down the line as an artist. I mean, the Caribbean, way back when you say you're a musician, people say, hey, what do you do? You know, <laughs> what's your job? Mm -hmm. I got into music, I decided to make it my life. The complacent Banky Banks on Culture Share. Jericho, it's always a great picture to look at the youths singing Calypso. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, Harry, especially when they're getting a lot of good guidance, like, for example, Marshall McDonald and Small Roots are Jamo, take him in hand, mold him, and he's doing fine today. What do you say? Oh, great, and we're quite happy to have him perform for us right now. We caught him down at the Fantasia 2001, and he was doing what? They fight in a war.
culture share, even moving like his uncle Ajamo Jericho. Well, I tell you what, he's properly molded, properly guided, pushing the culture, youth in action, youth in a move. He's talking okay. All right, well, that's where we call it quits this week on Culture Share. It was great keeping you company, and Jericho, it was great having you on the program. Well, it was nice being here once again. Hi to the Caribbean massive, Grenada massive, the family watching 80. Stay firm, baby. All right, who, which baby are you talking about? Let's not discuss it. <laughs> I thought I would catch you there, Jericho. I'll tell you. <laughs> All right, and as we leave you now, we go to the road march on the parkway for 1992. We had Atlantic performing that, but we're going to give you the band that did that tune originally. It's Second Image, and they'll be joined on stage by some beautiful dancers from Martinique. And you know what that song is? Jump. Is it? <laughs> on the count of? Four. There we go. <laughs> All right, later now. All right, take care.
Thank you very much, y'all. Thank you.